Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more BSL Asian Championships. We are in the bracket phase, uh, in case you haven't heard. We can't quite fit in uh, all of the BSL Asian Championships. Uh, we're going to be switching over to a Korean tournament relatively soon here. So just jumping through to some matches that uh, piqued my interest when I saw that they existed, although I haven't seen the games. Uh, we have Fengji here, who looked very good during the group stage. Uh, and is, I mean, he's been known forever. He's a very strong Zerg player. Going up against Jan Hun. Jan Hun had uh, a stellar season last season in BSL. He looked fantastic, honestly. And he gave us actually some of the most interesting Protoss games that we've seen in a very long time. Uh, I think if you, even if you're not a Protoss vs. Protoss fan, you probably want to watch him vs. DeWalt from last season. It's on this channel. Go look it up. Uh, honestly, it is one of the best PvP series that I've ever seen. It was it was madness. Uh, but anyways, Jean Hun is a really interesting player, very very strong, and I'm looking forward to seeing him against Fengshi here. Let's see some of his PvZ and look at how strong it looks. Right, uh, the map is Butter. This is a great new two player map. Uh, we happen to have a uh, nine pool here from Fengshi, so a little bit aggressive. A little bit aggressive. Jean Hun getting up and does not, in fact, see the hatchery. Goes around the back. Looks like he wants to... I mean, this is going to be a forge, obviously. And he's got to make cannons, obviously, because he hasn't seen the hatchery yet. Seems like he's hiding the fact that... Oh, my God. Is he going to... Is he... I think he's going to block the lings and then cannon rush. Like, just completely out of sight, right? Like, you send the second probe. And the second probe... Like, okay, we gotta we gotta off Jean Hun's uh, vision. Hold on, I my brain is going a mile a minute. Okay, so notice how he's not bad. If Feng Shui was bad, the drone might have gone over here and seen the probe. So you're literally relying upon your opponent playing well. Now the vision will reduce. See, uh, when the building gets started, like morphing in buildings have very low vision. So now this probe comes up, everything looks normal. The lings run by, and now the cannon rush will begin. Jean Hun, so, so sneaky, so sneaky. Oh my God. All right, Ling's running up now. Double cannon is coming, so he should be completely fine. You're gonna have to make a gateway quick, make a gateway. Oh God, oh God. Oh, wait a second. Oh, and he doesn't dive on the cannon. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, you gotta pull back a little bit. Lure the lings into the cannons. This cannon is actually up a step. If it was down a step, it would be actually so much better here. Oh, this is this is craziness what we're looking at, guys. <laughs> and he has to fight it. He has to fight it. Oh my god. Okay, so Jean Hun actually kills all but one ling. So this is looking pretty decent for him. Uh with this cannon warping in, like that's very, very scary. You don't expect really more lings to be made. And here's the thing: you want this to finish. So it finishes, he sees what's here. Well, that is not a happy moment. He might try to save this with Sunkins. Sunkins actually are much stronger than cannons, uh, and they have better range, I believe. Like by a half of a hex. <coughs> Excuse me. So a couple things come up and try to put damage on this cannon, but that one blocks. Notice how this does not reach the Sunken. The Sunken will reach it though. Okay, Sunken gets started. And so much of this comes down uh, with three cannons, so I think that's... This is dead. Like, he's, this cannon should not be able to do it. I think he should be targeting it. But, uh, okay, it finishes up, gets killed off. And now some lings are going across the map. Now, he does have that third hatch started. But make no mistakes about it. Jean Hun has to be feeling good about this opener. He killed all the lings from the nine pool. Uh, he's completely safe. What do he lose? Like, one probe? And now he's killed off the hatchery. He's, you know, he's got a lot of stuff going on for him. Obviously, the Nexus is a little bit late. We don't have a gateway yet, so the game is not uh, completely over or anything like that. But this is such an annoying thing to deal with as Zerg. You know, if we're going to watch some cheese, I prefer it be something like this, like high-level mind game stuff going on, uh, <laughs> as opposed to a few of the... Like, just crazy, like, oh, here's a 
you know, 14 drone, two hatch, lurker drop, right? <laughs> this is this is much more exciting, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you believe uh, the same. It's, I don't know, so, some of the really bad dumb all is like, yes, I made two barracks in the center for the fourth time in the tournament, as opposed to, oh, I was trying to go Nexus first, but instead I'm going to cannon rush you because I can tell you're, you're nine pooling. Anyways, uh, layer coming up. Hydralis Den as well. Oh my god, this is funny. I just talked about like low econ lurker drop. This might turn into that. See this overlord walk into the side? Well, floating to the side technically, but uh, the fact... Yep, there it is! Ah! <laughs> Cursed games in the Asia Championships, man. <laughs> it's real. Oh my god. Okay, so, yeah, see, this Overlord is just going to go here. He's going to pick up Lurkers and drop him. Okay, I mean, this is anyone's game. A big part of this will be where the Corsair flies, right? Like, the Corsair may fly right into this damage Overlord. That's a real possibility. This second one may position itself, like, over about here to pick up Lurkers and drop, like, here. That wouldn't be too bad. Lurker upgrade. So, okay, well, the probe is in here and it sees, so I bet you anything the Corsair hunts for overlords and finds them. And as soon as it does, I mean, this whole strategy goes to hell. Seriously, there, like, there's not a lot of other things that you could truly be doing here on two hatcheries. All right, another cannon coming up. Robo as well. This is how smart John Hoon is. John Hoon is, like... He's just going to go into Observers. I guarantee you he'll go Reaver as well. There's absolutely no reason for him not to go Reaver here. Uh, Reaver can be a great play against things like this. All right, Hydra's starting to pop out. First Corsair is out, and let's see if it finds the Overlords. I bet you it does. Uh-oh. The cheesy strategy has been thwarted. All right, drop is done. But there's nothing to really drop into except for this one. Uh, pylon going on down here. So there's a possibility we actually even see a cannon put down somewhere like right here. That is a real possibility here. Yeah, see this? Two Hydras going over, getting ready for this. More Hydras making their way across the map. Overlord speed on the way now. Obviously, that's something you're going to want to get after that drop upgrade. For many, many reasons. And here's the Reaver tech. Observatory as well. Looks like he wants to get Reaver first. Support Bay is one of the fastest building buildings in the game, so no big surprise there. Okay, he did save the Overlord. It looks like the Corsair was attacking a little bit. The Hydra's forced it away, but basically all the plans here of Fangji have been found out and thwarted. Corsair is still over here scouting. <laughs> not not looking uh, too hot for Fengji here. You know, to be fair, he got cannon rush in the beginning. I'm not holding this against him, okay? <laughs> There's been a few players in this tournament where it's like every game is cheese like this. But Fengji got like there was there was a very sneaky cannon rush that destroyed his natural. So like he's trying, man, to pull this together into some sort of cheesy build. And it's just not working out. So it looks like the next best thing for him is going to be the lurker push, break the Break the wall down with the lurkers and then maybe push further. But unfortunately for him, Sean Hoon went Reaver. Now, if he hadn't gone Reaver, he had said, you know what? I'll just block the drops and be completely fine. Uh, this could actually be a lot harder to break out of, right? You'd have to be like, okay, well, I need to get, like, goons, I guess. Maybe Size Storm. That's really gas heavy. That takes a long time. Here, the Reaver is just going to pop everything. But at the same time, we have uh, the Overlord Speed being done. We have some potential here for a big drop. Four Corsairs are out. All right, a reasonable drop. But the Observer's here. Some cannons are finishing up. A lot of cannons, actually. Look at this cannon placement. I love it. The four stifled cannons. It's just going to be such a pain in the butt to get through. Honestly, I think I think John Hun has basically just blocked everything at this point. It's 20 drones against 40 probes. So many gates are being added. And now the Lurker is going to start to do his job. I mean, the the, Lurker, the Protoss Reaver. 
All right, this little drop looks like it's going to go into the back of the natural. Maybe you get a couple good volleys here and even up that worker count a little bit. No, it does not look like it. Oh, God. Okay, that's got to be it, man. There's nothing left to try. Uh, John Hun going to win game number one here against Fang Ji. There's, right, like, okay, I guess he just drops the rest of his units into the main. Literally, he can't beat anything. He can't beat the cannons. He can't beat the ground units. Nothing at all. So, yeah, Jean Hun going to take game number one. Very tricky game. And, yeah, as the Observer comes in here, you have to be seeing it. Look at this. He tries to target the Observer. A good idea. GG is called. Jean Hun win game, wins game one. All right. So, game number two between Feng Ji and Jean Hun from this winner's bracket round one. We're on Vermeer. With Feng Ji in the top right and Zhang Hun in the bottom left. <laughs> uh, you know, that, that first game, obviously very cheesy back and forth, but what can you do? Zhang Hun saw an opportunity, took it, and it put him into a good enough position that Feng Ji, like, really tried to do some sneaky stuff and just try to pull a quick upset. Uh, and he wasn't able to do it. But, you know, it, it is what it is. It, like, this... This is definitely something that can happen. It, I I think especially from Zerg players, if they take any sort of damage early on, they're much more likely to just go all in. It's actually very surprising for anyone that actually plays the ladder. Uh, like, it, for instance, as a Terran player, if I ever kill their first Overlord, like it's in the wrong place while it's trying to like walk across the map and, and I just like gun it down with two Marines, I get Ling all in every time. <laughs> well, let me know if that happens to you as well, seriously. Uh, it's just, they, they are so ready to go all in if need be, if anything goes wrong. Okay, so Feng Shui once again here with a nine pool. Kind of interesting to see a nine pool here, maybe because it is Vermeer. Vermeer is a, kind of a big map. It's a four-player map, and, you know, all four-player maps are 128 by 128. But... Uh, that doesn't mean that the travel distance between mains is the same. And, and you know, it, also there's other things about the map that we use the uh, terms, things like big, right? Uh, like how open it is in the center, things like that. But anyways, uh, he's actually getting this gas? I was, I, I was kind of ignoring it because normally it's an extractor trick. Here he's actually getting it. So this is, like, I guess speed, right? Now, this is a Nexus first from Jean Hun. He literally is only scouting just now. So. Huh. This is kind of wild. We're going to see Zergling speed momentarily. And, like, I mean, he's making a gate in his main. This looks like a Protoss first Terran build. Jean Hun is just going to die. He needs these lings to go here first, and then maybe. Still don't think so because it's speed. Like, if he was making a wall, I would declare him the winner right now <laughs> because he went Nexus first. He, dude, he went Nexus first against Ninepool, and the Ninepool's going the wrong direction. Ninepool's speed. Uh, but here... Just the fact that the Zerglings are about to have speed, I think, is going to overwhelm Jonathan completely. Whereas, if he had some sort of wall, he could probably plug the holes, get a cannon up, that type of thing. Yeah, I think th we're going to have a fast one here. Forge goes up. Too little, too late, man. Here come the Lings. Speed is about to finish. Probe trying to delay a little bit. Yeah, the pylon obviously going to get knocked down. I think here you're supposed to actually just try to take your ramp, but I think you're so far behind, you may as well just die anyways. Just GG it. Yeah, there, there's really honestly not even any play left here. Like, I could beat Bisu as Feng Shui right now. <laughs> right? And I don't play Zerg. Like, <laughs> you're just... The speedlings are going to do so much, it's actually insane. Uh, you cannot catch them. The Nexus can go down. Look at this. Just endless speedlings coming across. This Zealot going to get picked off. Another one gets picked off down the ramp. And, yeah, we should be seeing GG. Going to be tied up one-to-one. 